Hi guys, it's Rachel. So today I have a new nail art tutorial for you and it's the first of two nail art tutorials that I'm going to do for Halloween this year because I'm super excited about Halloween and I love painting my nails and you guys know that um, I show, if you watched some of my other videos you saw that I bought two of the Sally Hansen nail, um, Salon Effects Real Nail Polish Strips and I'll be wearing those sort of up, coming up to Halloween, but I know that not everyone can get access to them, so I wanted to do a couple of tutorials just showing some fun Halloween nails that you guys can potentially do at home. So the first look here are these cute little Frankensteins, and I think they're just so, so cute, and they're so simple. And the good thing about this one is that you don't need to be a nail polish expert or a nail artist to be able to do these, because I honestly think that the messier they are, the cuter they look. They're little cute, they have like their own little personalities, so you don't need to be super neat, you don't need to have a super steady hand. I know that I don't, I don't do a lot of nail art, so um, I'm practicing and learning myself, but I think that this is really cute, really simple, and it'd be fun, you could do it with like a younger sibling or a cousin and help them out and do their nails as well, and you guys can have fun, freaky little Frankenstein nails um, and together, and they just have some Frankensteins and then a little barbed wire, um, special nail. It's almost like a glitter nail, but not glitter nail. Just one that sort of stands out. So this is the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below and send me a twit pink, a twit pick, twit pick. I can't even speak today. A twit pick if you guys um, do this look or uh, put a post a picture on my Facebook page. I would love to see it. And the other thing too is that if you think that this is too much Frankenstein, you could just do one Frankenstein stay on the thumb and then do the barbed wire design for the rest of the nails if that's something that you would like also. You can definitely change it up and you can change the green that you use in the background also. So that's it, I'm gonna stop blabbling and let's get into this tutorial. Okay, so to begin this tutorial, we're going to need a few things. The first thing is a base coat. You can use whatever base coat you have. I just happen to be using this Revlon one. You will need a green colored nail polish. Now I am using OPI's Stranger Ties from the Pirates of the Caribbean collection, which is kind of like a, a light pale kind of sickly green color. However, um, Frankenstein has been anything from really bright green to a sort of more subdued bright green. So anything that you have, any green will probably work fine. We will also need a white nail polish. I am using OPI's Alpine Snow, but any white nail polish will work fine. And then we'll need a black nail polish. Now I'm using the LA Colors Art Deco Nail Art Nail Polish. However, if you don't have a nail art nail polish, you could easily substitute this for, for a plain black nail polish. This is just a BYS one. And then you could also take a sort of a long, thin brush. I just picked this up from an art supply store and I actually use this for eyeliner. But if you don't have, um, if you aren't able to access nail art nail polishes, then this could be a, a great substitute. I found nail art nail polishes in uh, Priceline and also in Big W for those of you in Australia. Not this brand particularly, but other brands. And BYS also has a nail art nail polishes in gloss so there are definitely they are definitely around just have a look out for them like I said you could substitute for a black with a thin uh, brush which I picked up from an art supply store then you will also need some matches specifically I'm using this as a nail art tool if you don't you could use actual nail art tools if you don't have matches or you could substitute this for something like a bobby pin something that has like a rounded and just so we can make some little dots, but I am going to be using matches today. And then last but not least, we need a top coat. I'm using the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Top Coat, but again, any top coat is fine. Oh, and I also forgot some sticky tape. I'm just using some Scotch Magic Tape, but any sticky tape, again, will work fine. Okay, so we're going to begin by applying a base coat. So you should need just one. And this will just protect our nails and help the uh, nail polish last a little bit longer. So once you've applied that, just let that dry and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so next we are going to apply two coats of our green nail polish. Just do one coat thinly and let it dry and then apply a second coat. If your nail polish isn't opaque by then, you can definitely apply a third coat if necessary.
try and keep it as neat as possible but if you're like me and you go outside the nail and get some on your skin don't worry you can always clean that off with soap and water Okay, so once that's all dry, we're going to start actually drawing on our little freaky Frankenstein. So to make or to try and help keep our nails a little bit neater, I'm going to use the sticky tape and just apply this across, you guys can see, sorry, I'm out of focus already. Apply this across the top of your nail just to protect your skin and your cuticle. You can actually do it down the sides of your nails if you, if you want to, if you think that you're going to be extra messy. So I will just do that just because I can. So you're just kind of placing the tape around, almost like you were doing a um, water marble. I don't think you necessarily need these side ones, but the top one will just help protect your nails slightly. And I'm just going to do it anyway just to show you guys what I mean. So you can put it like all the way around your nail like that for... We'll just put it across the top, which is what I will do for this nail here. So we're going to begin by drawing the hair. So I'm going to take my black nail art polish. I'm just going to wipe off any excess up the top. And then what we want to do is we want to draw tiny little strokes the top of our nail, a bit closest to the cuticle, the skin. And you just want to make it, don't worry about it if it's not messy, and don't worry if you're going up on the skin like I am here, that is what the um, tape is for. And you just want to slowly, slowly draw little things and little lines, and as you work along, it will start to look a little bit like hair. I find it's easiest to work with little strokes, otherwise you end up with black everywhere. So just slowly build it up and once you've kind of got it looking like that, you can draw a line horizontally across the top just to join it all together. Like I said, don't worry if you go out on your skin. It doesn't matter, you can clean it up later, and I honestly think that the messier it is, the cuter he looks. So once you've got hair like that, dip your brush back in the black, and we just want to do a really thin line across the top. This is going to make our little stitches. So once you've done that, you want to draw really Thin lines, thin short lines, make sure that you've got all the excess nail polish off your brush, otherwise these lines are going to end up quite thick. Just do really thin lines across that long skinny line and these are going to make our stitches where Frankenstein's brain was, or head was cut open to put his brain in. Just like that. Okay, once that's done, I'm going to take a match and I'm going to take the rounded head of the match. And then I'm going to also grab our white nail polish. And it helps if you have some paper towel just near you, just so you can put the match down and not dirty your surface that you're using. But you just want to grab the white nail polish and either dip the head of the the match into the white nail polish or just use the brush to paint the head. You just want it on the tip. Just like that. And we're going to use this to create the eyes. So you just want to do two dots just above or just below, sorry, the scar. And you can make them kind of um, oval if you prefer and as big or as small as you want.
just like that. And then, what you're going to do is take your black nail polish, whether you use normal or the um, nail art nail polish, we're going to use the other end of the match, but slightly smaller, and again just paint the end of the match. You can use your, um, if you put too much on, use your paper just to dab off any excess. And basically you're going to put two black dots on the bottom of your white ones. Just like that. And then what you can do is you can either use the nail art brush or you can use the stick to create the mouth. Now I actually use the bottom of the match and I find it, found that to be easier. So you just want to draw a straight-ish line. You might actually need to add a little bit more black. Just draw a straight line across the bottom to create the mouth. And you can make it any shape you want. You can have it going thick to thin or you can have it zigzaggy slightly if you want to. We can use the stick and it kind of creates like a just a straight kind of wobbly line that's his mouth. And that's it, that's the face. And then all you have to do is you can take off the sticky tape. And then we have our little Frankenstein and just let him dry. So while he's drying, I'm going to do the other nail and then once they're both dry, we'll apply a top coat. So while you're letting the rest of your nails dry before you apply the top coat, I'm going to show you how to do a special little, I guess, ring finger nail design just to break up the, I guess, having so many different little faces on your fingers. So we're going to go for this look here, which is just like a little bit, simple little barbed wire look. So you paint your nail the exact same as you paint the rest of them. And then you want to take your nail art brush with some black nail polish. And make sure you rub off all the excess and then you just want to draw a really thin line diagonally down the first half of your nail and then you want to draw a second line diagonally down the second half of your nail and they don't have to be perfectly straight the beauty of barbed wire is that it can be a little bit crooked a little bit uneven and it still will look like barbed wire and then you just want to take the very tip of your brush and you want to create little X's, a couple of little X's along just to create the little barbs of the barbed wire. So you just draw little crosses. And again, don't worry if they're not sort of perfectly neat. Because I think that adds to the effect if they're not perfect. Try and keep them small, but again, if you go a little bit too big, it doesn't matter. Just like that. And I think that just is a nice way to break up the rest of the nails. The other idea I had was to use a black shattered nail polish on top of this nail, which would be another um, idea that you could do. I just couldn't find a black shadow. Everywhere was out of black shadow. And it's probably because a lot of people are using them for Halloween. But that completes the look. Now all you want to do is apply a top coat and then you're done. So that is it. That is the finished nail polish look. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye!